numerous code violations forcing Troy residents to evacuate their homes over safety concerns. News 10 ABC's James De La Fuente joining us in the studio more uh, with more on where they're being placed in the short term and how long they'll be out of their homes. James. Yeah, nearly half of the 124 unit complex at Harbor Point, Point Gardens apartments has been evacuated, displacing nearly 100 people. Adding to that difficulty, some tenants have disabilities, others have pets. You can see the conditions that raise concerns in these pictures of bowed out windows and crumbling bricks. Tenants just tell me about the moment they found out they couldn't go home. I was extremely stressed because uh, we had just moved in here 20 days. We moved in the first of the month. Um, it seemed like a very nice place. Troy City officials posting signs throughout the complex telling people they can't get in. Earlier, Mayor Patrick Madden at a news conference was pressed for answers on how this could happen. What's the policy with the codes department for checking these buildings? Is there an annual policy every six months, every year? What's the, what's the policy? No, there's not, an, there's not an annual policy on it. That's the problem right there. And those are the words of displaced resident Donna Vito in response to the mayor's answer. Madden says there are many violations that affected this decision, but the building is not in danger of collapsing and that they are in contact with the management on where the tenants are being moved in the meantime. Harbor Point Gardens management telling me they have enough hotel rooms for everyone. We have secured 40 rooms at the Red Roof Inn on Wolf Road, so everyone will be moved there today. And we have an additional 10 holding at the Travel Lodge right down the road on Wolf Road. So everything's been handled, everything's paid for. Yet some residents are concerned they will not be able to return to their homes. It's going to be a couple days. It could be it could be two, it could be three days. It might be four at the most. But we are we have a crew coming in first thing in the morning and are going to be working nonstop to make sure everything is done correctly. Now we will continue to follow this story and update you to the progress of the repairs and when the tenants are able to move back in. In studio, James De La Fuente, News 10, ABC. All right, James, thank you for that. Also today,